Hello humanoids welcome to Hash Robotics this is Hari Shankar In this part 3 video we are going to see how to program the robot We are going to make the robot to say hi step by step If you did not watch part 1 and part 2 the links are in the description please watch Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more videos like and share the video if you have any doubts or suggestion please drop a comment Okay first we will upload the initial standing position define the name of the servo and the digital pin that all the servos are connected set the initial position angle of all the servos select the board and the port then upload the program You can see that initial standing position is working fine. Now we can see how to program the robot to say hi. In order to make the robot to say hi, we have to move RH1 servo all the way up to 180 degree. RH2 servo to 90 degree and RH3 servo to 60 degree then we have to make a wave using RH3 servo then we have to move all the servo back to its initial position okay we will see step by step coding Okay, first create a method and we can name it as say hi inside the method we are going to write a for loop that starts from 0 to 180 If you can see the initial position of RH1 servo is 0 degree We have to rotate the servo from 0 to 180 degree And similarly the initial position of RH2 servo is 0 degree we have to move that to 90 degree
and finally the initial position of rh3 servo is 20 degree we have to move that to 60 degree delay the speed to 15 microseconds now we are going to call this method from the loop Make sure the board and port selected and upload the program. Okay the first step is working fine we'll do the next step For wave movement i'm creating two for loop for rh3 servo that starts from 0 to 60 as you can see from step 1 the position of rh3 servo is 60 degree now from the first for loop the rh3 servo will move to another 60 degree that is 120 degree and from second for loop the rh3 servo will move to 120 degree to 60 degree I want to make the robot to wave three times, so I'm creating an another for loop that starts from one to three, 
and that for loop will contain these two for loop Upload the program and see the result. It looks like working fine. We'll go for a next step. Okay, now we have to bring back all the servo to its initial position.
as you can see it is working fine likewise we have to do step by step for all the actions stay tuned we'll see you in the next video